Alright, welcome back everyone. This is Dragon in White here and we're back with another episode of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. It is the 25th of January, it is Chinese New Year here and I could not resist jumping into the game before I even started my uh, translation work. Um, henceforth, I pro probably only just do one episode just to have fun and then I've got to get back to my work. Yes, I know despite it being Chinese New Year, a public holiday, I still got to continue to work. Such is the nature of my work. It is unfortunate. So, should we head home now? Uh, let's check out the I'm area for a bit. I should check. Okay. Thanks. Let's see if I'm missing anything. Ooh, there's a couple of plants there. Yeah. Is it this? No, that's another one. Oops. I have to do what Chi Chi asked go me to do first. Okay. No point going that way. Alright, so yeah, um, of course, the nature of my work also is such that it is something that is that originated from a hobby. So it ain't too bad, and plus it only takes up uh, about 3-4 hours of my time. <laughs> uh, I gotta use the rest to actually do with my studies. So yeah. Alright, um, fishing. Fishing actually seems pretty easy in this game actually. There we go. Let's see. I just gotta remember where WASD is. It takes me a bit of time to actually recall. Yeah, that seems about right. Okay, so uh, I think there's really nothing much else I can do Oops. over here. So I have to do what let's, Chi Chi asked me to do uh, first. I got. Okay, I clicked that wrongly. Uh, I don't up. need to head over there. Nothing for me oh, over actually, here. Oh, I haven't checked this out. There's a map. Hmm. Mineral deposits. Actually, that might be worth taking a look. Ooh, more stuff. Man, I'm low on energy. Wait, low on energy? Yeah, a bit of a uh, grinding never hurt, right? Although actually, uh, I'm actually more interested in trying to figure out this thing. I am curious about the rocks behind and I want to see what is it about. Oh, I need to be level 10. Okay. Well, that settles it all. I like the running. It allows me to move around pretty fast. I only wish that it's placed in a more convenient area. Uh, I suppose once I get a hold of my Xbox controller, um, this will become easier for me. Oops! I have to do what Chi Chi asked me to do first. Nothing for me over here. Yeah. So yeah, once I once I get the uh, Xbox controller, this control should be much easier. Right now, my finger is stretching from W all the way up to B, which is decently far. All right, off to Chi Chi. So, should we head home now? All right, let's head home. Right. Here goes! Flying Nimbus! I didn't think that Goku still required the Flying Nimbus. I thought he could just right. fly on demand. Hang on tight! <laughs> Whoa! It's a dinosaur! <laughs> Let's see, Zeops. Zeops are special items you can find on the field or win from battle. Any you find on the field can be collected by approaching them from the side. They are essential for acquiring super attacks. So make sure you collect as many as you can. Super attacks, I like the sound of that. There are many types of Zeops. Orbs of a certain color can be found near areas related to that color. For example, blue orbs can be found by water, green orbs by near forest, and etc. If you're looking for Z ops of a specific color, head to a spot with a lot of that color. That works. Oh, okay, so now I fly. 
Wait, so is there a V out here? There is. Flying Nimbus is super fast. I've been riding this whole thing since I was just a little kid. Yeah, button takes a bit uh, of getting used to. Nope. Okay, I gotta break that. I think. Well, I suppose uh, I shouldn't spend too much time gathering these ops, that's literally everywhere. I am guessing they respawn, I'm hoping that they do actually. Only those with a pure heart can ride it. That explains why you've got no problems there! Yeah, this is fun! I, I still feel that running is actually faster. Something tells me we're gonna be a little late. Your old mom isn't too mad. The, you're making me nervous, Gohan. What is this? Is this his house? It is. Hey, Chi Chi, we're back! And we got food! You're late, Goku! It shouldn't have taken you so long to gather ingredients! Well, he was training, so what do yeah, you expect? Yeah, sorry about that. We did some training too. You're supposed to introduce Gohan to Master Roshi and the others today! Wait, that's today? Of course! Ah, sorry about that. I promise I'll remember next time. Forget it. What are you waiting for? Get in here! I need to get cooking right away! Alright, talk to Chichi and get lunch. Cooking. If you have fruit, meat, fish or other ingredients, you can get them cooked by Chichi or by other cooks. Eating cooked dishes provide special effects such as boost to stats and temporal support effects. These are called meal effects. Every dish has its own list of necessary ingredients, with richer dishes require rare requiring rarer ingredients. More extravagant full cost meals provide greater effects. You can cook them right now, but you will be able to as you progress further on your adventure. Alright, talk to Chichi, now get then, lunch. I'll just take these ingredients and whip you up something tasty. Can I make a full cost meal? Let's try. I have no idea what I need here. Okay, so make a dish first. Boiled fish. That be this. Boiled fish. Fish lightly boiled in spices, packed with flavor and a real hit in most culinary circles. It sounds a bit plain, honestly. Hey! Hi! Gotcha! Hey! Hi! Gotcha! Okay, um... Search the house. What am I searching for? That. The dash for dinner. To put his new students to the test, 
Master Roshi throws a stone on which he wrote the character for Turtle deep into the woods. He states that whoever who finds the stone and get and brings it back first will get to eat dinner while the other will go hungry. Goku finds the stone but Krillin tricks him and steals it away. He rushes back to receive his meal but an unexpected trap is waiting for him. This is the stone me and Krillin used in our training. Oh. Me and him had to hunt this thing down. Krillin beat me then, but only because he cheated. I had to go hungry that night. <laughs> Interesting. There's some old law. Let's see. What's his story? No, that's quests. Characters. Nope. Well, I got this too. Oh no, I see it. V Encyclopedia. Okay. Relation charts, rival Piccolo, okay. Hmm, that's quite a lot. Okay, what's this video thing? I'm guessing I got the BGM because I played I purchased the ultimate pack, which means uh oh the opening is here and then Okay, okay. Oh no, these are what I unlocked. Okay, so in that case maybe my BGM music is not unlocked yet. Okay, nope, let's not waste time anymore on this. Uh it's quite interesting, but uh I'm going to see Master Roshi, my old master. His place is surrounded by the sea. It's loads of fun. Oh, yeah. All right, talk to Chishi and get the box lunch from her. So does cooking takes time? Or is it instant? All right, I'm finished. Here are your lunches. Dig in whenever you're hungry. Thanks, Chi-Chi. Your stuff's the best. It really gets the blood pumping and the muscles moving. Right, Gohan? Yeah. Oh yeah, another Soul Emblem. Uh, cooking community leader Chi-Chi and a new community bot. Okay, wait, so does this mean that I have to... I bet you'd be pretty... Okay. What happens if I do this? Okay, so I am actually forced to um uh But for now, I prefer this. I bet you'd be pretty strong. This makes more um, sense at the moment. Later, Chi Chi. We're off to see Master Roshi. Wait a second. Are you forgetting something, Goku? I thought you had something for Gohan. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, what a neat little ball! That little ball on top there? It's a dragon ball. I got it from my grandpa after he died. But that's not all you got from him. You were also named after him. Really? Oh my, Gohan looks so handsome. It'll be like he's watching over you whenever you wear that hat. So take real good care of it, okay, Gohan? 
Yeah, I will. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Dad. All right, we're leaving for real this time. Goku, don't let anything happen to our little Gohan. And Gohan, be on your best behavior. I will, Mom. Bye! I want you both home by supper, you got it? A pretty tall order that probably only Goku can fulfill, maybe a few other of the Z Warriors as well. But uh, I'm pretty sure the distance that they travel, more than a day's worth of journey. It's said there are seven mystical orbs capable of granting any wish when brought together. With them, anything the heart desires can be attained, whether unfathomable riches or absolute power. These mysterious wish-granting orbs are known as the Dragon Balls. And it's around these Dragon Balls that this extraordinary story unfolds, with new challenges and adventures awaiting Goku and his friends at every turn. Ooh, more flying. Hey, Dad? What's Master Roshi like? Well, he looks like a feeble old geezer, but he's super strong. Really? Though, it's a real shame he's kind of a massive pervert. Yeah, he was my rival at the time, but now he's my best friend. Is Krillin strong, just like you? Yeah, seriously. Out of all the guys I know, he's definitely up there. There's also a woman I know named Bulma. See, she was looking for the Dragon Balls when she ran into me, and we ended up going on adventures together. If we hadn't done that, I probably wouldn't have met Master Roshi and the others. I see. Not too much longer until Master Roshi's place. I wonder what everyone's been. Okay, let's wait here until this finishes. Okay, it finishes. It finished. Let's down to see. Okay. Yo! Oh, and who's this little guy? Meet my son. What? what? Your, your son? Yeah. Wild, huh? Nice to meet you. Oh, uh, nice to meet you too. His name is Gohan. Gohan? Oh, so you named him after your grandpa, huh? Yeah. Suits him, don't you think? Okay, well, Krillin first then. Goku, have you been training lately? Am I gonna fight him? I hope so. Well, not as much as I want to. Chi Chi gets pretty angry if I train too much, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, I haven't trained myself either. With Piccolo taken care of, things have been pretty quiet. Hey, you two, what are you talking about? Uh, uh, uh nothing really. Hmm. I could have sworn you two were talking about how you've both been slacking off on your training. <sighs> Guess there's no fooling you, is there, Master Roshi? It would seem you've both forgotten that training is a daily activity, not something you do only on special occasions. You should be moving, learning, playing, eating, and resting every day. That's the way of the turtle school. Okay. I can't argue with you there. Now, to make sure you two never forget your daily training, I've got a little challenge for you. Come report back to me once you've finished your training. Total school training manual. Yes, sir, hmm. Master Roshi. Interesting. Yes, sir, Master Roshi. Now, time to get back to my usual enjoyment. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, probably Reveal Idols. Oh, Master Rashigi. Okay, good. Adult community. Okay. Hmm. I don't really care too much for money at the moment. Uh, okay, actually, I think what I can do 
is I probably can move the emblems around as I need them to and um, yeah only when I'm selling stuff or buying stuff I can move to him when I'm cooking to Chi Chi when I'm fighting well let's just put this by default here all right sub stories venture to a blue pillar on the field or speak to a character with the blue exclamation icon above their head to initiate a sub story Completing the sub-story will net you experience, valuable items, and slash all soul emblems. Such, uh, such Some sub-stories can only be completed at certain times, so make sure to do them when you can. Sub-stories can only be completed with certain characters if you are playing, uh, having trouble completing a story. Listen to the hints provided and change characters. Okay. So, uh... Before I speak to Krillin, let's take a look at this. Yo! Hmm, what's going on with you? You seem pretty bit. Yes. Hmm. Oh, huh. Something's up. Are you hiding something? Uh, um. 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 I. Hey! Dang a bit! You meant it. Hit my old my book again. Uh, uh. That's Master Roshi's voice. I don't know what he's talking about. Okay, I give up on the voice acting. That's uh, tough on me. Greetings. Okay, hey Goku, have you seen the blasted hey. turtle? Tortis? Yeah, but he ran off somewhere. Huh? Tortis? Are you seriously still calling him that? You know that's not his name, right? But never mind that. What about my book? That pain in the butt hit my book somewhere. What kind of book is it? Is it really that special? <coughs> of course it's special. It's my most prized possession. If I don't have it, then I... I... Ah, that's a quest. XP, D medal. What's the D medal again? Not sure. Book for grown-ups. Hmm, that's probably a present for Roshi. Energetic fish, herbs. Okay, sure. Well, if it, if it is really that important to you, I guess I could help you find it. Really, that's mighty kind of you, Goku. Yeah. So what kind of book is it? It's uh, uh -huh. a swimsuit photograph collection. <sighs> Man, you haven't changed a bit, have you, Master Roshi? I'll search the attic. You look outside. Yeah. You got it. Well, at least it's not full-blown porno, I guess. It's probably what? with Puma. You mean that Giza's filthy book? Like, I would know. Well, uh, then you know where I can find Tortis? <sighs> if you are looking for Tor uh, Turtle, I saw him heading to the back of the house. Hmm. There you are. Hey Tote, so where do you hide Master Roshi's book? Oh. It's Turtle Goku, you should know that by now. I'm sorry, but I can't tell you where the book mm. is. Master Roshi read enough of that thing, he needs to learn some self-control. And that's why it belongs in the ground. The ground? Wait, he buried it somewhere? It's better off burning it actually. Goku, find a photograph collection that Toto hit. It's here. Too easy. Wait, is it here? Yeah, take a look. <laughs> Aha! Here it is. You found the girly book. Yo! Hey, I found your book, Master Roshi. <laughs> oh, you found it. You're the best, Goku. I knew I was right to take you on as my student. I'm counting on you to help me out when that troublesome turtle hides it again. <sighs> oh, uh, yeah, sure. Oh, there's a bunch of things that I got. Now, I am pretty sure I saw Looks something like at the, the back. Trick. Let's take a quick look. 
Oh, uh, Goku and Boma help a lost turtle return to the sea. To show his gratitude, Turtle introduced the two to Turtle Hermit Masaroshi. Masaroshi rewards Goku with the flying nimbus and Boma with the Dragon Ball that he wears around his neck. Lots of memories. Oh. Okay, on to Krillin then. What's up? I'll be willing to bet it's just pretty much a fight. Okay, let's give me a minute and you adjust my pop filter. I just changed the position recently, it's a bit strange. Yep, there All we right. go. Huh? <laughs> What's this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Alright, mental training. Didn't, wasn't that what we did with, uh, what's his name again? Piccolo? Okay, uh, community, community board. I am willing to wager that I can place Krillin in. Oh wait, I thought Krillin gave me his, uh, piece. Ah well. Okay. That's one quest. Consecutive energy blast, super attack list. Oh, that's okay. Um, manually aim key volley with homing properties that makes it easy to connect hits. Can be used against multiple enemies. Um, oh, I need to spend D medals on it. That is how I use it. Rock, paper, Rock. You can guard by holding F, even if you're taking damage from attack, you can start guarding right away and take as little damage as possible. Guard for too long, however, and you eventually have your guard broken, leaving you defenseless for some time. Avoid this by alternating between stepping and guarding on the defensive in battle. Burst. Press right click while guarding to send an opponent flying. This is called a burst. Burst can cancel your opponent's action, making it a great evasive maneuver in a pinch. Press space bar while guarding an attack to quickly maneuver behind and send them flying. This is the vanish attack, uses up a lot of key but a great way to launch a counter attack. Keep the pressure on your opponent by using burst at close range and vanish attacks at a distance. Okay, so uh, looking at all the mouse buttons, I think I'm going to have to configure my mouse to have easy access shortcuts to this to make things easier for myself. Uh, I am using the uh, Swift Point Z mouse, the one with uh, really a lot of buttons and even a motion sensor and stuff like that. So that's going to help out here. Close range, where space bar just as it's about to hit you. Your opponent enter a slow motion state, making it a perfect chance to dodge, to launch a counter attack. Successfully dodging will also feel a tension gauge. Dodging helps you offensively, defensively, and in terms of movement, it's an important skill to master.
I go upwards. Oh, shift. Being in water is kind of irritating. Fighting is not really that easy, it's gonna take some getting used to. Definitely a controller will help. Just uh, gotta wait for next week to get my controller, I suppose. Uh, but all the same. There we go. I got it. Alright! Okay, and uh, I think that is it for now for this episode. Uh, before I go off, uh, here's just a very quick uh, shameless plug. <laughs> So, as many of you know, I translate Immortal and Martial Dual Cultivation. Uh, it's free to read at Gravity Tales and I release chapters daily. Check it out on the link in the description below. And also, if you support, like to support what I do on this on the YouTube as well as my translations, do check out my Patreon page and all supporters gain advanced chapters or early access chapters, depending on the tier that you support. And finally, I have a merch store up. Check it out. I got t-shirts with my profile pictures on them. Uh, Marks and uh, drawstring bags and a couple other stuff. Uh, the catalog will be increasing over time, but this is what I have for now. So uh, that's all that we have for today. So next time, on Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Ciao.